Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you the details of competency 1.4 in which you will learn how to perform the anthropometric measurement, how to interpret it and how to document in the growth chart. So first is the weight measurement. So in this image you can see the electronic weighing scale for the infant. Whenever you are measuring the weight, first you should make sure that zero figure is shown here so this is the button you have to press it and first set at the zero then you have to measure the weight of the infant in electronic weighing scale and now for the children this is the digital weighing scale as the error of 50 to 100 gram occur in the digital weighing scale always we should prefer the electronic weighing scale whenever it is available for the children's also while the error of hardly 5 to 10 grams occur in electronic weighing scale. Now there are some of the formulas to calculate the expected weight in children. So in first 3 months of the age, 10 gram per kilogram per day weight gain is there. So example if the birth weight is 1 kilogram, after 10th day of life, baby will gain the 10 gram daily. If birth weight is 3 kilogram, then baby will gain the 30 gram daily. And between 3 to 12 months age, age in months plus 9 by 2. Between 1 to 6 years age, age in years into 2 plus 8. And after 6 years, one easy way to calculate the expected weight is age multiply with 3. So example, 8 years old baby, 8 into 3, 24 kg will be the expected weight. And the formula between 7 to 12 years age is age in years into 7 minus 5 divided by 2. And now in the newborn and infant, you should remember that 10% of birth weight lost initially. Then baby regain the birth weight by 10th day of life. Then baby gain the weight 200 gram per week in first 3 months of the life or we can say 10 gram per kilogram per day and 30 gram daily for the 3 kg weight baby and then 150 gram per week's weight gain in second 3 months between 4 to 6 months of the life and 100 gram per week weight gain in next 6 months of the life between 7 months to 12 months of the life 15 gram per day weight gain will be there between 1 to 3 years of the age 3 kg every year weight gain occur and between 3 to 12 years age 2 kg weight gain occur every year in children. So this is for the expected weight calculation and this is the simple weight calculation. Birth weight double at the age of 4 to 5 months, triple at the age of 1 year and quadruple 4 times of the birth weight at the age of 2 years and 7 times of the birth weight at the age of 7 years. After that we have to measure the length or height. In less than 2 years age group we have to measure the length in lying down position by infantometer. In more than 2 years age group we have to measure the height in the standing position by stadiometer. Now in this video you can see the infantometer. This is the mobile part of the infantometer. Toward this side we have to keep the legs of the baby. This is mentioned in the centimeter up to 46 cm in white line and beyond this in pink line this is in inch and now I am measuring the length of mannequin keep the head toward the fixed side and legs toward the mobile side so the length of this mannequin is you can see this one now I am measuring the length of an infant you can see we should fix the fit towards the mobile part now in stadiometer for the children's we should remember that occiput shoulder buttocks and heel should touch the wall and then we have to stretch the stadiometer over the head and eyes should be straight in frankfurt plane this is the way to measure the height and formula for the height between 2 to 12 years age group is age in year into 6 plus 77. As we are not having any formula to calculate the length before 2 years of the age, so we should remember the sum of the normal 
parameters of the length at birth for the full term baby length is 50 cm at 3 months 60 at 6 month 66 cm at 9 months 70 at 1 year 75 cm 2 years 87 cm and at 4 years double of the birth length 100 cm is the length of the child now for the mid parental height calculation for the boys paternal height plus maternal height plus 13 divided by 2 for girls paternal height plus maternal height minus 13 divided by 2 and the predicted height is mid parental height plus minus 2.5 cm whenever we are taking the length after 2 years of age in a morbid patient we should deduct 0.7 cm because height is 0.7 cm less than length then we should measure the head circumference and we should encircle the measuring tape in front over the supraorbital ridge and on back over the occipital protuberance so these are the landmark we should remember and always use the cross method so now in this video you can see I am palpating the occipital protuberance. Now I am encircling the head measuring tape and keeping over the supraorbital ridge and using the cross method. So the head circumference of this child is 50 minus 11 39 centimeter. So this is the method to measure the head circumference. Normally for the full term baby head circumference is 35 to 37 centimeter at birth then the it increased 2 centimeter per month in first 3 months of the life between 4 to 6 months 1 centimeter per month between 6 to 12 months 0.5 centimeter per month between 1 to 3 year 0.25 centimeter per month and between 4 to 6 year 1 centimeter per year. So maximum head growth occur in first two years of the life. By one year of age, head circumference 45 cm and by the age of six year, it is around 55 cm which is equal to almost adult head circumference. After head circumference, we should measure the chest circumference at the level of nipple in mid inspiration. In this video, you can see I am measuring the chest circumference at the level of nipple and it is 3 cm less than head circumference at the time of birth it becomes equal to the head circumference by one year of age then it exceeds the head circumference after that we should measure the mid upper arm circumference in left arm non-dominant hand and during taking the midpoint between acromion and olecranon process elbow should be at 90 degree flexed then after taking the midpoint we should mark the midpoint and we should encircle the measuring tape so in this video you can see i am taking the midpoint between acromen and olecranon process now i am marking the midpoint and after that by cross method we should encircle the measuring tape so in this child you can see 23 minus 5 mid upper arm circumference is 18 cm we can also measure the MUSC by Sharkey tape in this red yellow and green color codes are present if MUSC is less than 11.5 in red color between 11.5 to 12.5 yellow color and more than 12.5 green color so if the MUSC in red color that means baby is having severe acute malnutrition and should be admitted in nrc nutritional rehabilitation center if in yellow color then should be admitted at cmtc if in green color that means mild malnutrition can be treated at home mid upper arm circumference should not be measured in less than six month age baby this should be measured between six month to five years old child and between 1 to 5 year age group this is remain static so around 15 to 16 centimeter in healthy child if it is less than 13.5 
then according to the who classification of malnutrition we have to categorize the mild moderate and severe malnutrition so in this table you can see who classification according to MUSC and weight for height j score so if the child is having MUSC less than 11.5 and j score less than minus 3 hd we label as a severe acute malnutrition or if the child is having bilateral nutritional pitting edema then again severe acute malnutrition if MUSC between 11.5 to 12.4 we label as a moderate malnutrition if between 12.5 to 13.5 we label as a mild malnutrition or child is at the risk of malnutrition if MUSC more than 13.5 that means child is having normal nutritional status after that we should measure the upper segment and lower segment ratio so we can take the upper segment by the taking the sitting height so in this video you can see he is taking the sitting height from head to middle of the pubic symphysis and we can calculate the lower segment by height minus upper segment or we can calculate the only lower segment in lying down or in a standing position from pubic symphysis till the floor or tip of the toes then we can calculate the upper segment by height minus lower segment then the height of upper segment lower segment should be converted into the USLS ratio now you should remember the normal USLS ratio at birth it is 1.7 as to 1 at 6 month 1.6 as to 1 at 1 year 1.5 as to 1 at 2 years 1.4 as to 1 at 3 years 1.3 as to 1 so you can remember by the 3 3 figure at the 3 years age then become 1.1 as to 1 at 6 years of age then 1 as to 1 at 10 years of age and in adolescent and in adults it becomes 0 0.9 as to 1 once the child achieve the predicted normal height so you can remember some of the figure example 1.6 as to 1 at 6 month so 6 6 1.3 as to 1 at 3 years so 3 3 and at 10 years it is 1 as to 1 so 1 1 1 then we should measure the arm span over the back we should tell the child to out stretch both the arms at right angle and we should measure the distance between tip of the middle finger here in this video you can see he is measuring the distance between both the tip of the middle finger and we can take the help of two person who hold the outstretched uh, measuring tape between the tip of the middle finger and we should take the arm span in less than five years age group arm span is one to two centimeter smaller than height and at the age of 10 to 12 years arm span is equal to height and after that arm span increases more than height and almost 1 to 2 centimeter more than height then we have to plot the weight and height on the growth chart whenever child is coming to the OPD we should plot over the growth chart to see the growth of the child is according to the age or not there are various percentile line over the growth chart 3rd, 10th, 25th, 50th, 75th and 97th percentile so whenever weight or height is below third percentile it is abnormal whenever it is above 97 percentile again it is abnormal various growth charts are available we generally use the IAP and WHO growth charts we should also calculate the BMI in more than 5 years age group weight upon height square it is normal when it is between 18.5 to 25 less than 15 consider moderate malnutrition less than 13 severe malnutrition more than 22 overweight and more than 25 obesity and we should also plot on BMI charts so whenever it is above 85th percentile considered as a overweight when it is above 95th percentile considered as a obesity then we should also calculate the weight for age which is the patient weight 
divided by expected weight into 100 then height for age patient height divided by expected height into 100 weight for height in which the weight of the child divided by expected weight against the actual height of the child into 100 so all these three parameters should be calculated in all the children to differentiate the child is having acute malnutrition or chronic malnutrition or short stature or acute on chronic malnutrition now I am going to give you the examples of all these three parameters so you will be easily interpreted after that now I am going to tell you how to interpret the weight for age height for age and weight for height example four years old female child weight is four kilogram height 95 centimeter then weight for age Patient weight divided by expected weight. So we know at the 4 years of age, expected weight will be 16 kg. By the formula, age in years into 2 plus 8. So 4 upon 16 into 100, weight for age will be 25%. So it is significantly decreased. According to the IAP classification, patient is having severe acute malnutrition if the weight for age is less than 50%. Now, height for age. Patient height is 95 cm and expected height at the 4 year age is 100 cm. So, 95 upon 100 into 100 is 95%. So, for the girl child at 4 years age, this percentage is either normal or in minus 1 SD. So we can consider it either normal or in minus 1 standard deviation. When you will uh, see the table for the height for age according to the age and gender. Now weight for height. So here we will put the patient weight 4 kg and this is the expected weight at the patient height. So patient height is 95 centimeter and 95 centimeter height generally achieve at the age of 3 years so at 3 years age expected weight will be 14 kg so 4 upon 14 into 100 28.5 percent so it is significantly decreased and similarly weight for age is also significantly decreased so whenever patient is having decreased weight for height we label as a acute malnutrition because this will be only affected in acute malnutrition and patient is having weight for height less than 75 percentage that means severe acute malnutrition is there now another example four years age female child weight is 10 kilogram and height is 75 centimeter so weight for age we will calculate similarly patient weight divided by expected weight into 100 62.5 percentage so it is also decrease so according to this patient is having moderate malnutrition now height for age 75 patient height divided by expected height 100 into 100 so it is 75 centimeter it is also decrease as we know it is un under minus 3 sd now weight for height patient weight divided by expected weight at the patient height so patient height is 75 centimeter and this height is achieved at the age of one year so at the age of one year expected weight is 10.5 here we will keep the weight according to the patient height expected weight according to the patient height in 200 so it is 95.23 percentage it is normal so whenever it is more than 90 percent is be considered as a normal so weight for height is normal weight for age height for age is both are affected that means patient is having chronic malnutrition whenever weight for height will be affected that means patient is having acute malnutrition now i am giving you another example now this is third example four years old 17 kg weight 75 centimeter height so weight for age, patient weight 17 kg divided by expected weight 16 kg into 100. So 106.25 percentage. So it is increased. Now height for age 75 divided by expected height 100 into 100 75 percentage. This height is under minus 3 standard deviation. It is decreased. Now weight for height 17 kg weight 
patient weight divided by expected weight at the patient height so height of the patient is 75 cm one year age height so expected weight at the one year is 10.5 into 100 161.9% so it is significantly increased so patient is having short stature with obesity because height is decreased while the weight for age and height weight for height both are increased now this is another example 4 years age weight is 8 kg height is 88 cm so weight for age patient weighed 8 divided by expected weight into 100 it is 50 cm sorry 50 percent it is significantly decreased now height for age 88 patient height divided by expected 100 into 188 percent it is also decreased now weight for height 8 upon 12 this is the expected weight at 2 years age because this height is of 2 years age into 100 66.6 .6. So whenever all three parameters, weight for age, height for age and weight for height, all three are decreased, that means patient is having acute on chronic malnutrition. When only weight for age and height for age both are decreased, in previous example, I said chronic malnutrition. When only weight for height and weight for age is affected as in previous example, it means it is acute malnutrition. So whenever weight for height is less than 90.5 percentage indicate child is having malnutrition when it is more than 120 percent it indicate child is having obesity and these few are the kanavati index and some ratio of the head circumference chest circumference mid upper arm circumference height ratio and rao or sing ratio so these are of theoretical importance and sometime examiner also ask about all these ratios and indexes. This is the checklist of this competency PE 1.4. So now I am going to summarize again. We should measure the weight, height, head circumference, chest circumference and mid upper arm circumference between 6 months to 5 years and then upper segment lower segment ratio arm span then weight for age height for age weight for height and after five years bmi so all these parameters should be major to assess the physical growth of the child thank you so much